What's going on YouTube and welcome to another video. New video alert, new video alert. Calm down. If you guys are new to this channel, welcome. A lot of my videos I do mostly reviews on shoes. I've done different videos with technology, with life and fitness and overall health. There's been a lot of shoe videos that I've released here recently. These are shoes that I've picked up, that I've copped, that I'm kind of doing my review on what I think about this shoe. But today we're gonna to do something different. In this video today, I'm gonna to be talking about new and upcoming Nike sneakers that are getting ready to release in the spring of 2019. With this video, I'm going to talk about cost. I'm going to talk about release dates on shoes, where you can get them at, the most popular websites which aren't always the best websites in my opinion. But I'm also going to talk about retail prices as well as resale prices and sort of a like cop or drop type thing. This is really going to be my opinion on if I think this shoe is going to resell and it's going to be a hot shoe. So we're going to do a price difference on how much can you really make with reselling shoes to make any sort of profit at all and sometimes end up losing money. Wolf, wolf. The first shoe that we're gonna talk about releases on April 20th. These are called the Nike SB Dunk High Walk the Dog. Whatever type of dog breed that you prefer, this is a canine friendly shoe. I don't know why Nike decided to do it like this, but they kind of wanted to come out with this funny shoe for the 420 festivities. The patterns are so weird and I don't like this shoe. Just because I'm not a huge green fan, but the different materials on the shoe, it's got a variety of different patterns that represent different dog breeds. So you'll see spots for Dalmatians, you'll see long hair maybe for Golden Retriever, and then on the upper itself, it has a green color that's supposed to represent grass. And the material on the upper is like this fake grassy feel and it's just super super weird they reinvent that red swoosh what they've kind of done on a lot of the blazers where it's going around on the back heel of the shoe what nike's saying that this is supposed to represent is the leash of the dog the laces on the front of the shoe are white but don't worry they also come with extra pair of laces which is more of a brown colorway and it comes in a sort of like mini doggy bag this is just what nike's saying this is what i'm reading this is what's coming up absolutely probably the ugliest shoe that i'm going to talk about today in my opinion now let's talk about price this shoe retail is 110 dollars isn't a bad price but that's kind of the run the mill type price for a nike sb now as far as resale goes i've looked in my size and it really depends on your size and what they're going to go for resale if you decide to use a third party site like StockX. I highly recommend you guys using a site like StockX or GOAT or a third party site like that. Even though you have to pay the fees, it kind of ensures you that you're gonna get your money and that they're gonna take care of their business while you handle yours. Resale price on StockX, when I looked for a 10 and a half, is $270. So that is, and I'm not including tax or fees or anything like that, that is a $160 profit. But it's that quick like that. I mean, it's, that's it. And then you get 160 bucks. That shoe comes out on April 20th. Go check it out. You can get it on the sneakers app. Now again, with stuff like that, that I research and that I find prices on shoes like this, you got to keep in mind and you got to keep, you got to keep in consideration that this is now. This is before the sneakers actually release. Nobody, nobody knows exactly how many pairs they're gonna release except for Nike. So when the sneaker actually comes out, you might get on the sneakers app and say, it's 9 a.m. Central Time, boom. Oh my God, I, I, I just got, I just got the shoe. I can't believe it. I strike out all the time. Well, it could have been that Nike released a lot of pairs. They mass produced those shoes and then you end up selling them and making 20 bucks, sometimes even less. Sometimes you end up losing money, which has happened to me before. On to the next shoe, and probably one of the most hype shoes 
of 2019. The Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott's. This is the dopest sneaker of 2019. This will be the most hyped shoe of 2019, mark my words. This will have the best resale value. This shoe is set to release on May 3rd. Everybody mark it in your calendar because the price of this shoe goes up. By any means, I don't consider myself a reseller. I consider myself a sneakerhead, a guy that loves shoes. And in my opinion, I don't care who you are, everything has a price. This shoe retails for $175. They did some sort of special release where Nike, Nike was getting tricky with it. These supposedly, what they said, released, I want to say about two months ago. And I heard it was easier to get an Oscar than actually get a pair of these shoes. The upper of the shoe consists of a plush leather. And with a collab, I know Jordan's quality is going to be, it's going to be A1. And the upper is kind of like this earthy brown green tone colorway. Every Jordan 1 has always had that Nike sign on the side. But for this Travis 1, this Travis Scott 1, what we're seeing is a backwards Nike sign. It's kind of funky looking whenever you first look at it. I dig it. Like it's something crazy different. And you know, Virgil kind of put together this shoe that of a Jordan 1 to where it looked like it was falling apart and it was beaten in and it looked like a beater but it looked like a worn shoe that could just tell stories this is just a different wave it, it's it's crazy to see the type of inspiration and imagination that these artists actually have I, I really dig it and I'm glad that Nike was able to get with Travis Scott on this shoe I hope to get him in hand on May 3rd I hope and pray you know I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna resell them because money's money when you look on StockX right now, in my size, the Travis Scott Jordan 1s go for over $1,500. Retail price, retail price on this shoe is $175. $1,300 profit, not including taxes and fees. Do I think the price of this shoe will go down? It will go down in the beginning. I think after they actually do a sort of general public release on the third. Do I think they will go up if you keep these dead stock? For those people that don't know, dead stock just means you haven't tried them on, you haven't worn them, even in the house, they will go up. If you keep them for four or five years, hell, even ten, if you kept these for 10 years, these things would be four to $5,000. I guarantee it. I'm not always right. I'm not saying that I'm always right because it's hard to justify and really get what people want and why they want it. So shoes are gonna constantly change. And of course, if you're going to wear them, it's gonna, if you're going to wear the shoes, it's going to depreciate the value just a little bit. Depends on how much you beat them up. If you keep them dead stock and you don't wear them, you can't enjoy them. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this type of video where I don't really do reviews on shoes. I do it more on up and coming sneakers, price tags, price points, what's gonna be hot, what's not, and really how you guys can make money and, and flourish. I would say in a way, diversify your portfolio and just try to help you make smart decisions. I've made mistakes, you'll make mistakes, we're all human. My name's Corey, AKA Soul Focus. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to love life, love God, and love each other. God bless. Salute to you. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Peace.